maybe we'll get started and so today this is maybe after the live you guys can also let me know if you like this kind of uh, content um, hi Andy do you guys do whip stitch yes we do we're actually one of the stores that do whip stitch so I'm going to get into that so today I want to introduce um, some of the more uh, overlooked platform of coach create um, most of them is because they're not as popular because not all the stores or not all the specialists are trying to do them so today I will kind of walk you through the process of doing pair of rivets and this is the, uh, the example of the pair of rivets um, and then the other customization that you don't see very often is the whip stitch so the man bag here this is the example of the whip stitch okay and this is one of the style where you have the whip stitch on both sides and over uh, exotic panels so you can see like there's a lot of details I'm gonna like show you the inside as well what the inside looks like I don't know if you guys remember but I think about Maybe three, four years ago, Coach actually has a collection pinky that uh, has very similar style. Um, but we can also customize these on uh, plain pinky, okay? This is another style of the whip stitch, which is just one on one side uh, of the flap. And as you can see, we have different color of, uh, of the French. This is the ox blood. So, and then we have, of course, the black. And then also, I think the saddle color, uh, a light blue, and a pink color. And same as the exotic panel, they kind of match the color of the fringe as well. Okay. So, exactly. Yeah. It's really cool. I really like. The both pair of rivets and the whip stitch are actually my personal favorite uh, platform. Um, I know a lot of you are familiar with the uh, souvenir pins and the tea roses because uh, that's those are more commonly seen. So I'm just gonna show you. This is the souvenir pins. So many of you have already have bags that are customized with these elements, and you see them. I think these are really popular, so you probably see more of these um, in the store. And then we also have, of course, the T-Rose. The T-Rose is actually the first platform introduced in Coach Create program. And then when we first started, we only have maybe five colors, like very few. Uh, three different sizes of uh, flowers that you can choose from and when we first started the design is pretty much set so hello more people coming in yeah so with the tea roses is uh, you start with three tea roses three five seven are the basic layout that we started with uh, you can play mostly with different color combination and then we can only do it on uh, Dinky bag is one of them, uh, the, 1940, uh, the 1941 saddle bag, and also the 1941 clutch. I don't know if you guys remember those. I'm actually gonna show you, because a lot of the bags we actually don't have in the store anymore, but um, in our store, we have this beautiful photo album of, you know, when we first started, as you can see the clutch. Yeah, Andy, we remember those tea roses. This is this is the first first gen, okay? So very cool. Um, more tea roses. So if you have old dinky bag, uh, today we're just talking about sus sustainability. If you have an old bag, existing bags that you wanted to uh, kind of refresh the look a little bit, customization is a great option for you to um, get a new bag without spending too much money on it and then you don't feel like wasteful because you're actually kind of um, repurposing what you have already uh, with something unique okay 
So today we, I want to show you the Peru rivets and I'm going to demonstrate the process a little bit because I actually have a customer who live off the island and she sent in her dinky bag. It's a black one just like this. And then uh, she's done a different color before and she really liked it. So she got another one and she wanted to do the style three pair of rivets. Okay, so this is the style three. It's more elaborated. Um, as you can see, it's a combination of rivets and stone. This is a semi-precious stone. I'll show you the different stones later. Um, we also have the more, this is style two. So if some of, if this is a little bit too much for you, you can consider the style two. And then we also have a more minimalistic uh, look, which is the style one. You only have the uh, embellishment on the corner. Uh, maybe I'll show you a picture. This is a picture of what it looks like on a saddlebag. Okay. And if you wanted to see, this is what it looks like on a dinky bag. So uh, this platform, the pair of rivets, we still have some materials left in the store. Um, I think they are not, they're kind of removing it slowly, but we still have quite a bit of uh, supply in the store. So if you have bags that you want to send it in or come into the store for us to design for you, we can definitely do that for you. You can also do the pair of rivets on uh, wallets. I'm trying to find um, an example. So this is what it looks like on Parker. So you actually have a lot of different, uh, a lot of options, a lot of uh, silhouette options that you can do for the pair of rivets. You can also do the style. And let me see, let me find a good example. Style two on Parker. Okay, so you can pair, this is um, the basic stones. So these stones, they come in different color. We have the white pearl, we have the gray pearl. Uh, we also have um, like red ones that you can pair with different color of bags. Saddle bags. And the yellow stone is one of the uh, uh, semi-precious stones as well. So yeah. So I want to show you guys this, get some ideas. If you're kind of cleaning out your closet recently and thinking what to do with these bags that you have, um, definitely consider customization and um, we're just can send it in and then we can uh, work on it for you. So I'm going to show you the customer's bag. This is already kind of halfway done. So the inside looks like this. Um, basically, she wanted to do the style three, okay, with um, the tiger side semi-pressure stone. Okay, um, for the rivets, we have the black copper options. We also have the silver finish, which is the light and thick options and then some of the rivets comes in a brass a polished brass uh, that will match nicely with the stitching on the black bags okay so let me show you so this is what we start with i kind of punched a hole already because it gets really loud and i don't want to uh, kind of demonstrate on uh, on life. It gets a little bit noisy um, So I pre-punched the hole already on the bag and place the rivets so we get an idea of what the design looks like but usually uh, with this particular platform You can see it's about uh, symmetry. So unlike the tea roses and the souvenir pins where customer can have a little bit more fun uh, in the placement uh, it's not so richer. You can kind of place the pin this way and that way and spread out or closer together with the pair of rivets It's set so you have to follow a pattern because the design Idea behind this uh, is very kind of Western style uh, So you can see it's a you know mirror image is symmetrical um, 
but it creates like a very nice pattern uh, to highlight the feature of the bag. So it turns like a simple, plain, classic dinky bag into something a little bit more unique. Um, show you this is what I have in the store. Managed to find one last uh, plain dinky. Very nice blue color. So the blue one with a little bit of burnish around it. So this is what it looks like plain without any embellishment. And this is what it looks like with the stones and the rivets on it. Okay. All right. So usually this is what I use. We have uh, kind of like a, a pattern I follow. Uh, for me to know where to punch the holes okay. and then I have I put it down on my board I lay it on um, so I do all the holes first punch the holes and then I can kind of remove the rivets for you to for you to see so you have um, you can see the holes so after I Use the pattern to find the placement of the rivets. Oh. We punch the hole, oh. and then uh, this is what it looks like. Oh. Okay, all across. These one I already secured down, so oh. it's not moving. And then, but you can see we have the rice shape. Yeah. Okay, we have a round shape. What's that? What's And then there is also the pointy uh, rivets. And then lastly, we have this uh, big, uh, similar, a larger rivet, similar to the stones that we place on the corner. Uh, so the whole design is composed of these elements. All right. Um, with the black one, most people choose the black copper finish and the uh, polished brass, just because, you know, usually coach use like contrasting stitch um, to, Kinda uh, highlight the uh, the silhouette of the bag. Okay. So for this one, the customer has the options to choose. Um, so she decided to go with the black copper, and then for the little rivets, she has the option to choose either to stay with uh, black copper or brass or silver finish. Um, so in this case. I'm actually have to switch out because I just uh, did this one and show her a picture but she ended up wanting to switch out some of the large rivet into a brass color just to kind of balance off because I think right now this is uh, too much silver for her and she prefer a little bit more uh, brown color which you know she choose the tiger's eye okay so I'm going to actually switch out four rivets, one, two, three, four, uh, into the brass color. And then we'll take a look to see what it looks like. Okay, so very similar to this one, actually. You can see like this. Okay, the brass finish and silver finish and the stone. All right. Now, in terms of the cost, maybe we'll mention a little bit of that. So, uh, for tea roses and souvenir pins, they all start uh, at twenty dollar Canadian. So, each tea rose doesn't matter what size, doesn't matter if it's uh, snake skin or just regular leather. They're twenty dollars each uh, for souvenir pins. Um, souvenir pins also starting at twenty dollars each, uh, except for the more elaborated ones, like some of the ones that has the uh, bling bling. Like for example, the star is forty dollars, whereas these ones are twenty dollars. So just to get you, give you an idea. So usually. And also the souvenir pins, um, it, uh, you can choose to add a packet of 
little mixed rivets that comes in like the star shape, the diamond shape, not diamond, uh, the pyramid shape or the round shape. So that's additional $15 on top. So for souvenir pin, if you're just adding one pin, you're looking at maybe $20 or $35 to start with. Um, for tea roses, most people start at minimum with two tea roses. So you're looking at maybe $40. Um, or if you want a, a more balanced look, to start with three tea roses, that's $60 Canadian to start with. So for pair of rivets, um, for the style one, this one start at $20. So if you choose to go with these, with basic stone, it's $20 Canadian. Um, and then if you wanted to switch out the basic stone to a semi-pressure stones, which are some of these ones, comes in different color. I think we have one, two, three, four, five different color of semi-pressure stones. Um, these are additional $15 for each stone. So the most elaborated design of this one uh, the basic price is 115 Canadians, and then this one she wanted to add two more semi-precious stones, so you add 30 dollars on top. Uh, Marisa asked, "Can I put whip stitch to a rogue or a metallic dinky?" Yes, for the metallic dinky. So both, but the whip stitch is um, they've only developed the design for the dinky bag. So whip stitch is strictly only for dinky because um, they didn't continue to develop other pattern for other silhouettes. And for the, for the rogue, let me answer it this way. For rogue bag, uh, your only options will be T-rows or souvenir pins or some of these patches. Okay? Uh, okay, so let me show you how some of my process of making customizing the bag organize this a little bit so firstly let me put um, let me put the rivets back okay so the rivets comes in like this okay. this is the backing to that so basically one goes under the leather and then one goes over and I kind of click in so it's in place so most of these are click in right now they're not pressed I still have to bring it over to my press station to make sure it's uh, fully secured okay so let me do that right now I hope this is not too bored but you guys can let me know uh, in the comments whether you like to see this type of life more of it or not so much and then uh, then I will know and then just um, also FYI, most of the live that I do here, I will later on edit a video and post it on YouTube. So if you prefer watching a more uh, edited version of uh, the playback, you can go to my YouTube channel as well to watch them. Okay, let me just see here. So I'm going to switch out some of the larger rivets. This is the silver finish one and this is the brass. Let me see if I can adjust this that you can actually see what I am doing. Is this better? Yeah, this is better. So I'm switching out. I'm switching out this. And to replace it with the brass finish. Okay. 
and also this one because she doesn't want too much silver to compete with the the brass or the brown color skim so this one So as you can see, the larger rivets is rustier compared to the small. So there's like a contrast here, a little bit of variation between these two. Um, I think that just kind of make the design more, adds more uh, character to it. All right, all right. So, so this is the final look. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the press station to press down all the rivets so it's secure. The inside is also kind of cool because they, you can see the back of the rivet, they kind of create uh, another design of its own. Uh, the bag with classic turn lock inside, okay, with the pouch has canvas lining. Uh, otherwise, the entire bag is lined with glove tan leather, one of the classic that we have. So, back pocket here, okay. So, you can use this as a crossbody or even as a clutch, it's kind of cool. Alright, now, let me just show you the semi-pressure stone a little bit. Yeah, Marisa, what do you think? Maybe you can consider this for your saddlebag. I think it looks really cool. Um, okay, so these are the basic stones that we have. So if you decide to go with the basic stone, the cost is included in the um, with the rivets. But if you want to switch out the basic stone to a semi-pressure stone, like such as these ones, um, you just have to pay for each stone additional $15 more uh, and the reason why people would choose a semi-pressure stone is because every stone looks different whereas you can see the gray pearl this is the not really not real pearl but this is one of basic stones it's just plastic basically uh, it's just a solid color okay but it really depends on the style of the bag and the color of the bag. Um, whatever you think is appropriate design-wise and color-wise. But I just wanted to show you how, like... Just want to turn this down a little bit. So you can see the semi-pressure stones. Uh, each stone is different color. So some of the customer who is very, very particular, then they will sit in at my desk here and then go through each stone and pick the ones that they like. Because some of them are darker, some of them are lighter. Uh, the tiger's eye especially is um, more distinctive, uh, the differences. So you can see um, kind of like the marble pattern. Um, so I picked the ones that has more apparent difference like more apparent uh, marble pattern for this customer just because she also choose to have like the rustic brass and the polished brass so just to add a little bit more uh, character to it okay we also have i also really like this purple one this purple one is translucent you don't see too much difference but it just kind of when the light hit then you will notice uh, more difference so i would say the tiger's eye and this purple one my favorite this yellow one looks really nice on uh coneflower color which is the light blue light this one is not coneflower, but if you guys remember, we have like a light blue that's called coneflower and the 
lining of the edge stain is yellow. This one works really well on that uh, bag with that color. So, so it really comes down to what color of bag you have, the silhouette that you choose, the color of the rivets that you choose to go with. Um, that all plays into determining whether you want to switch out the stone for, for basic stone or semi-purchase stone. It's like this one. It's a simpler design, it's a style too. So she go with the silver color rivets, but then it's not too much and it's not too competing with the black copper and the tiger's eye, okay? All right, so let's move over to the hand press station. Okay, let me see how I'm gonna show this. Once again, you guys can let me know if you like watching this kind of life or if it's boring, you can let me know so that I won't do it again. Uh, but if you find it interesting, I will try to do more of this uh, maybe once a month or something in conjunction with all the newness we have in the store. Okay, so I have to secure the rivets right now, okay? Speaking of newness, I'm not sure how many of you have seen the new uh, post on Instagram by Coach. It's the new collaboration, Coach and Champion. So we're waiting for the official launch day, but it's very exciting. Our store actually has quite a few pieces of ready to wear that we can't wait to show. But um, stay tuned. We'll for sure show it here first. Okay, so these, what I'm doing now is these die is to, uh, we have different sizes of die that will fit on the rivets. This is what we use to secure uh, top and the bottom. Okay, so once we clip or press down, uh, you can't take it off anymore. Kind of like this rice one. It's super secure, so you don't have to worry about it falling off. Uh, the only time that it will fall off is when maybe <laughs> the craftsman missed one of the rivets and forgot to press it down, then, then it's still removable. Alright, thank you Marisa, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to do the all the polished brass ones uh, first. I'm doing okay. So it won't take too long. It's fairly quick. Because the more time consuming process uh, was done already before I start this. So this one, the re another reason why I like this platform the most, or is it involves a lot of craftsmanship skill. Um, I think only in Canada, only us here in Vancouver, and also the craftsmen at uh, Yorkdale in Toronto um, had the training to um, to do pair of rivets. So I think total maybe there was only like three craftsmen in uh, in Canada that knows how to do it. Okay, so now the uh, the pointy uh, rivets are all pressed down. So usually I go through it. Uh, I can feel it like these ones. You can see the difference. These ones, can you see it? These are not pressed down yet. So you will see a little bit of gap here, but. The pointy one, I just press it down so you don't see any gap. So that means it's fully secure. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the round shape one next. And just a little bit of background story. So we started the craftsmanship bar with the Coach Create program about two, three years ago. I basically uh, got higher into this program for coach um, so all when we first started out we all went to New York for training so we learn about leather we learn about 
uh, how to take care of leather, um, and then we learn about uh, monogramming, how to do the hang tag, and operating the monogramming machine, and also we learn about how to customize uh, bags with our master craftsmen in New York. Um, it's a very fun experience. So yeah, so we're fully trained. So you can have full confidence sending your bag to me and to do this. I won't damage your bag. Okay. So now we're gonna move on to the round shaped rivet. Normally, we usually go to New York for training and for like update, update our training once a year. But last year, because of the pandemic, uh, we weren't able to. So, so you'll probably feel like uh, you haven't seen more newness around customization for a while, and that's also one of the reasons. But I thought I would just kind of refresh your interest with this Underlook platform and hopefully it will inspire you guys a little bit um, and you can consider this option when you look at your dinky bag or saddle bag next time okay so this one is done now I'm gonna move on to pressing the large rivets okay Hi, Sandra. Okay. Okay. So I'm having a little bit of trouble putting the thigh on because. Um, we use the die also on different tools for like sneakers and other type of bags. So instead of doing it on the hand press, I'm actually going to do find an alternative. I'm going to punch it on the board. So I'm gonna clear my table a little bit. So it's gonna get kind of loud just uh, in a couple of seconds because I have to use the dust bag here so I don't scratch the leather. Um, this, I won't, I'm not able to fit this under the hand press or the other machine I have, so I'm not supposed to do this, but this is the, the only way I can secure it right now. So I'm just gonna do some hammering. Don't mind me. So I'm just checking again, make sure everything is secured. I think it's pretty good. Now just down to securing the stones here, okay? So the stones are different. The stone is secured with a uh, screw backing. So I'm just gonna tighten it and then we're done with this bag. Move this up. Thank you, Sandra. How are you, Sandra? When are you gonna customize your next bag? <laughs> okay, so it's done. That's it. Um, so if you, you know, in our location, in our store, uh, we have two craftsmen, myself and also uh, Ben. Ben is not here today. So as you can see today, I'm just doing a live by myself. So usually 
Um, as always, one of us will be in the store. So if you any ever have to do any customization, we can most likely finish it within a day. So you can pick it up on the same day or you can leave it here. Uh, once we finalize the design, we can finish on the day and uh, we can either ship it to you or you can wait for um, the completion of the bag. Yes, Sandra, or we can do a virtual uh, session with you and Kathleen and then we can uh, brainstorm some ideas for your next customization bag. Okay, so I think that's it for today, short one. Uh, but I hope you guys like it. What do you think of this bag? I think it looks pretty good. Uh, this is, for this customer, this is her second bag. Uh, she did one for a beige color, the beechwood color, uh, with the lighter rivets and basic stone it looks really nice too if i ever find a picture i maybe i'll post it so you guys can take a look and this is the second one that she she did um i'm happy with this and uh it was fun to kind of show you guys the process um so any once again any questions feel free to leave it in the comment for me um or if you whatever you want to see more in the store you can also let me know dm me um, but that's it for today and thank you guys for joining me and, and I will see you guys next week hopefully with something exciting can't say it yet but uh, I'll let you guys know all right thank you we'll see you then